In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a very simple little strategy to help your uh, quarters defense against two by two formations, specifically things like five wide where you can have some issues with streaks. So we're gonna dive into today's video. Before we do that, I wanna let you know that my name is Cody. I'm so glad to meet you if this is your first time coming by the channel. My channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're looking to get better at this game, we post videos every day to help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball as well as on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe. And basically that just means that YouTube will let you know whenever we release new videos. It's the best way to stay up to date with everything happening on the channel. So if you hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen it's completely free for you to do that now as you guys some of you might know i have released a full cover four quarters uh defensive update into my 335 wide ebook if you haven't gotten the 335 wide ebook um it's in the description it's just five bucks now uh 335 wide is the best defense and the and the reason why it's the best defense because it gives you the best personnel it gives you the best run defense it gives you the best some of the better blitzes in the game and also gives you all the different coverages such as zone drops man coverage as well as match coverage that's why i believe it's probably the best way to be playing defense right now so uh, we're gonna be going over match coverage now to run match coverage you don't want to have your zone drops on now there are certain uh, obviously there's certain exceptions or you can do some of these little tricks right here but whenever i run match coverage personally i like to turn these back to default that's just my personal uh suge suggestion now we're actually going to be running a quarter style defense but we're going to be running it from mike blitz three and there's a i'm going to talk about why here in just a moment but um we're gonna we have both of them in our audibles and then i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna grab a five wide uh, out of the Raiders book the empty trade of stack and I'm gonna be talking about some of the more popular concepts that a lot of people would try to use uh, to be to be able to beat the quarters um, to be able to beat the quarters defense here so a couple different concepts and we're gonna start with bench corner that's the best one in my opinion and again part of the reason we come out in 335 and audible down to 335 wide is because it gives us better personnel you can also run a lot of good stuff out of 335 normal you have cover four drop you have cover three cloud you have three double buzz you have some of those coverages as well that are really really uh, valuable and effective so anywho i'm going to audible down here and i'm going to audible to the cover four show too as you see right here cover four quarters and i'm going to kind of make some you know standard adjustments out of it you see something like this right here and i'm going to obviously use her uh, now if you're playing five wide i would highly recommend the spread look i just think it's a little bit better of a look but what you'll see here is if i make one simple adjustment to this bench corner play i'm just going to fade adams and i want you to watch what happens you're going to see that it has a decent chance at getting open it doesn't always get open as you see right there it doesn't but it does have a decent chance at getting open another way that you could do this is you could do some something like um go to your cover four quarters uh defense and then offensively i could do something like slant uh slant the square receiver you know something like this right just swap basically route swapping them um those are some things some little strategies that people will employ to get this quarters to basically break okay um a lot of a lot of madden when you run match defense of madden you have to understand it is so so important i cannot stress to you how important this is it is so important that you understand how a coverage can break if you understand how the coverage can break you're going to be a lot more effective in running the defense and so uh, one of the biggest ways that this co coverage can break is with these inside quarters sometimes these inside quarters for whatever reason will basically they'll essentially they'll glitch out they won't they won't play properly okay they won't play properly so you'll see right right here right you see how he's kind of and i i got i got sacked there or the throw out of sack but occasionally and again it doesn't happen ever i mean it, it happens a high percentage of time um it doesn't happen every time i will say that i'm just gonna spy zadary smith so you can see this but if you watch on this left side here if I just fade uh, Adams, watch that safety. You'll see he'll take a step to the inside and then he'll be wide open to the outside, okay? And that's that's one of the problems. That's one of the ways that this coverage can break. There's a way to stop this um, from happening. Now, because apparently I have the best pass rush of all time, uh, we are going to uh, spy the defense line because I just have to show you, uh, I have to show you this. I'm gonna spy my user too, uh, just to save us from that. But if you watch on this left side, you'll see here, he's gonna take a step to the inside and then he's gonna take a step to the outside. Now it doesn't always, um, it doesn't always glitch out, but a lot of times it actually will glitch out. 
And so how do you counter that? Or what are some things you can do? When you adjust out of a cover three look, it actually changes how quarters coverage will play. You'll still be playing match coverage, but it will play it, I think, a lot differently and a lot better. So if I go to Mike Blitz 3 here, and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a cover four quarters. So I'm gonna uh, spread my line here, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everybody on a quarters cover. So you see here, I've changed everybody into a quarters. I'm gonna put a seam flat on that left side, and then I can take that, that linebacker on the right. He's kind of my hybrid defender. I can do whatever I really want with him. Um, if, for example, probably what I would, I would do most of the time is I would probably man him up either on the X or the R1 receiver, probably on the X receiver right here, um, and then shade inside. You see how they move, okay? So now if I, if I try to run that same uh, coverage beater here, you're gonna see he's gonna defend this a lot better as you see right there. I mean, he gets he's in a better position to be able to make a play on the ball, that, that triangle receiver. And it's just because we audibled into this or we basically hot routed uh, this adjustment. And this is something that I don't think people realize is super, super effective, but it actually is really, really valuable in my opinion. When you can set up a coverage like this right here, you basically are creating this out of it. It actually makes the rules play a little bit more consistent, a little bit more different and a little bit better in my opinion. You see there, he's sitting right on it and he's gonna be able to easily intercept that pass if they go to something like that. That's another, that's an option that you can do. Another thing that you can do, and I don't necessarily recommend this, uh, unless you really, really are aware of what you're doing, you could just outside quarter both of these guys out here. And then essentially what you could do is you could create hook curls in the middle of the field. I really like the hook curl this year and create something like this. The one problem with something like this is there is gonna be a little bit of a soft spot up the seam. You'll see right here, like if I try to throw this route, this triangle receiver is gonna be wide open, as you can see. So that's, that's the one thing. And that's where I would say it makes a lot more sense if you were gonna run a, a concept like that, especially against five wide, you wanted to run some match and you also wanted to run some zone drops. I would run quarters to one side. As you see right here, we're running quarters to the right side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run um, cover two invert to the left. You see right here, we're running cover two invert to the left. See this defense right here? This is actually really, really hard to beat. Uh, this defense is actually really, really hard to beat. You've got a lot of stuff over the middle that is gonna be taken away. Um, and some of those concepts that we're talking about aren't gonna be as open. You'll see here that that deep half will run with the fade and he'll take that away. And then the seam flat will match onto the C route and you can take that away as well. So those are some little strategies, little nuances uh, about spread in my opinion, that are super, super underrated. Again, creating this coverage from nothing, it actually does make a big difference in how this is gonna play. And it's going to help your match coverage be, I think, a lot more effective. The, the, they're not gonna have some of the things that they probably normally would have. Like, I'll just run kind of a standard concept here. And you'll see that the seam flats will do such a good job. Um, there you saw that post route. That's the biggest thing you're gonna have to watch out for. That's the biggest thing you're gonna have to watch out for. And that's why, honestly, some of the some of the things that I would say is if you even did something like audible to Mike Blitz three, you, you, you shift your D line right. And then instead of putting an inside quarter on the right, you put an inside third. Now you can't get bombed either direction. You have the hook curls out there for good underneath coverage, you know, and then what you can basically do here is if they run that same concept, you're gonna have a pretty good opportunity to stop this, right? The underneath might be there, and, and right there, he just happened to get a little bit inside of that. But typically that guy's gonna be in a position to handle that. So you just need to learn how to adjust your quarters coverage. This was an adjustment that I felt like, you know, running running quarters to one side and then running like something like a, a little swapping cover two is actually relatively effective. And then you can even do something like this. If you wanna cross man, like let's say you're worried about a post route, you can just simply cross man it if you want to. You can just simply cross man with that extra player that you have. And then let's say they run a post to the right. You're gonna see, you're gonna be very good against posts to the right. You just have to take care of posts to the left. So um, you got pretty much everything covered with both of these coverages. Um, the quarters covers, like I said, you just wanna, the other problem with this is as you can see this linebacker sits out here. You want him down here. You don't want him sitting out there, okay? That's also another issue. Um, and as you can see here, as long as we do that, 
you know, of course you want to spread the D line and then, you know, you can again adjust as adjust accordingly. You do something like this right here. This actually makes a big difference in how things are going to play. Even from a quarters perspective, you're not going to have this. It's, it's not going to do the same thing as you see. It matches on much, much more faster because they don't have to. They don't have to technically match onto that square receiver. So this is a little defense for the five wide sets. Uh, five wide sets, I think, are going to become a little bit more popular as we head into um, as we head into April. But this defense is powerful if you can learn how to adjust out of it. Learning how to adjust, learning how to deal with the problems is going to help you a ton when you run a cover four quarters. Now, if you want to get my one hour and a half tutorial on everything cover four quarters, in addition to my entire 335 wide ebook that goes over my, uh, zone drops, run defenses, coverages against every formation that you need to know how to stop, those are all available in my 335 wide defensive ebook. It's just 15 bucks. It's in the description. If you watched competitive Madden this weekend, you saw that every professional Madden player is using this defense. There's a reason. It is the best defense in the game. Defense is about adjustments, and this formation gives you the best chance to be able to adjust to whatever your opponent's doing. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And again, if you want to get that ebook, it's in the description of the video.